So I got some beautiful three ribeye steaks right here. They're a little over an inch, inch, uh, inch and a half thick maybe. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put them right here on this black stone. So one of the things I wanna do with here is actually have two zones. We're gonna cook this a little bit different than the average steak. We're gonna cook it on the lower side for about seven or eight minutes. Then we're gonna throw it on the hotter side and sear them until we get the perfect temperature we want. Uh, on this side, you can see we're at about 344 degrees and I really can't get it much lower than that. If you could, I would probably bring that down a little bit. And on this side, we're gonna be upwards of 436 degrees. We're gonna to try to keep this thing heating up. Hopefully, it'll get to about 500 degrees by the time I'm ready. Hopefully, if not, it will be the hotter side though. But we're gonna start over here where it's much cooler and we're gonna go ahead and put these steaks on. Now, what I did first is they have been salted and peppered and then set at room temperature for about an hour, actually a little over an hour. So that salt and pepper has been being uh, marinated into it, so to speak, or just kind of getting inside that just a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and throw these three. Look at that. Got these at Sam's Club. On this low temperature side. Now, because we did do that, you're going to also notice the temperature of the grill might actually fall a little bit. See, now we're at 312. You go in between there. We're uh, under 300 degrees. As you add food, of course, there's uh, 284. It does go down. We're going to keep heating this side up. It's at about four. We're at about 450 in the center. So we're going to just cook these, flip them occasionally, and just warm them to about 100 degrees internal. And when we get to that, we're going to sear them until we get to our desired temperature, which is, depending on how you want it, typically 125 for rare to 145 for medium, 150 plus for well done. So let's go ahead and let this cook up just a little bit. And if you are new to the channel, which there's a good chance you are, uh, be sure and hit the subscribe button and like this video if you enjoy outdoor cooking on this Blackstone griddle and on my pit barrel, which are the two things I cook on most often. Um, outside, I'm always cooking, so if you like that content, be sure and subscribe. Because we did add the uh, food, you can see it's been about seven minutes now. I went ahead and was able to break loose pretty easy so we're going to go ahead and flip them just look at that looking amazing let's go ahead and check see what the current temperature is They're averaging 100 to 95 degrees. There's actually some spots a little higher than that. So we're actually gonna just let this cook for about a minute. Then we're gonna put it on the sear side. Hear that sear? We're now placing them on the hot side. This is where the searing begins. And once it's on this side, just one or two minutes flip check the temperature after a couple minutes get it to your desired doneness while that butter is still melting I'm just going to throw them right right on a plate and then wherever you want, uh, cover them, put foil on them, wait about five minutes. We're going to cut into them and see what they look like. Now, here we go. Moment of truth. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like inside. Mm. 
a little bit of pink. This is probably medium well. You might want to cook it a little less if you're looking for more of a, uh, actually that's probably medium rare. Uh, but if you're wanting a little more of a rare uh, steak, you want to cook it a little less, but nonetheless. Parts of the steak does have a little rare areas. As I always do in my videos, if I were to change one thing, maybe just cook it a little bit less, and you'd have a rarer steak. It's as simple as that. And that is an excellent steak. It's got good flavor, and it's quite tender. Adjust your cooking times to your liking. Cook it a little less if you want that pinker center. Um, if you want a little more done, cook it a little more. This came out just fine, though. I'll see you guys in the next video.